got to show you something that's kind of fun. Uh, it's uh, it's a different kind of graffiti, and I'll do a whole segment sometime on this, but I'll just kind of yeah, show you, you what the introduction is. You know, a long time ago, these little LED lights, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, these yeah. little LED lights yeah. were very expensive. Now online, they're not nearly as expensive as they were before. And so kids, believe it or not, uh, are getting these LED lights, and they're also getting watch batteries. So here's uh -huh. a watch battery. So I'll show you what it looks like. They take a watch battery and an LED, and they put it together like this, and see how it lights oh, up? on it okay, goes. so very easy. Sure so enough. on and off, on and off. Yep. So you see what it looks like? Yeah. And so now they're taping this and taking a neodymium magnet. See that little magnet that you have right there? It's this little it's guy. It's a very, very strong oh, magnet. The Remember that one, one that I right? sneak in your pocket and then every yes. time you walk by the fridge, you stick to the fridge? <laughs> so they're taking the neodymium magnet, hooking it on here, and then throwing it on the side of something where it will stick. And this will stay on uh, for 40 days. 30 really? 40 days. So it's wow. light graffiti uh, in urban areas. And oh, I'll show I you see. some video of kind of what this looks like later on okay. uh, in the summertime. But so I thought they're making gonna, things, they're like doing designs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah oh, they're sure. called throwies. These are called throwies. Huh. And you throw them up on things. Well, you got to go get them and take them down from an environmental wow, standpoint. Wow, another so cultural thing. You got here. it. All right, we're going to use that magnet. <clears throat> Interesting with electricity, if we teach kids about a motor and how a motor works, it's one of the reasons why these LE or why these uh, neodymium magnets, these super strong magnets are becoming so expensive is because of all the uses for motors. Look at that little tiny magnet that's there. Extremely powerful. Yeah. Very, very, very powerful. Yeah. So let me show you what the setup is. Ready? You're going to need a D-cell battery. Okay. So um, I've got this magnet that's here. And what I want you to do is I want you to put uh, the screw. There's just a, a regular like drywall screw right there. Try to get it in the very right. middle. Okay. Now watch this. Just hook it onto the very bottom like this. See how it just hooks there? And it stays there because of it's a, a magnet. Turn it the other way. Will you do it the other way? Do it this way? No, no, no. Do, oh, do, oh, the magnet. battery goes to the there positive pole. Yeah. See, we should have had a rehearsal. There you go. And now watch what happens. If I take a wire and put it on the top here, all I have to do is come down and touch that little uh, magnet there. The electrons that are flowing through in this circuit now cause it to turn. And I get this. Isn't that great? That's a little oh, it's sure a motor. Enough. So did you get it? just get yeah. it close and it goes? Just touch it. So the electrons push the oh, magnet, and as that. the magnet sure pushes, enough. you literally make a little motor. Look at it go. Isn't that nice? So that you can cool. now add the second little piece, which is kind of nice. So stop the whole thing. Okay. And now take your throwy. I made you a larger throwy. So oh. get yours that's over there. I have a very large throwy. Yes, do. you do lights, have a large yes. throwy. All right, so now you're going to put it on the bottom like this. I'll kind of help this little okay. piece here. All right. How, what a simple way to be able to say that a motor is the flow of electrons this pushing against so a magnet. Cool. So I'm going to put this one on as well. And Les is going to give us dramatic lighting at the end. Oh, and okay. now kind of watch what happens here. As we get close here, now as we touch, watch what happens. We get this wonderful little movement, and you've actually created a little motor. It's a single pole motor. There it is. As you touch, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Isn't that kind Look of fun? <laughs> so the flow of electrons, and that's what we have going through the battery, touching that neodymium magnet that's down there. We just added some cool factor there by putting the little LED, LED lights there on the bottom. And you get Man. yourself the simplest of motors. The Absolutely kids the are going to love this. A throwy. See, we all learned something See today. See what happens? I'll show you uh, later in the summer kind of what that looks like. I put okay. this whole experiment online, little video clip and everything. So if people want to make them, is uh, a head to the one. hardware store and tell them that you need these things. And there you go. You can find doing. Steve's experiment again by going to the On Air tab on 9news.com and looking for Spangler Science. There it is. All right, there you go, the On Air tab on 9news.com. Throwies. Kim and I were just talking about how hard it is as a parent to stay current, and now here we you are, got it. suddenly hip. We'll now amaze you our are children. Hip. There you are. Light graffiti and a motor. How's Thanks, that? Thanks, Stevie. We'll Bye. be right back. Don't go away. Amazing.